So I'm about to do the Restoration Druid Mage Tower, and I'll quickly go through the talents and legendaries. Um, the legendaries I'm going to be using are Velens and um, Lady and the Child. Lady and the Child because it just gives me extra DPS in the first phase to kill them, kill the ads quickly. And Velens just because Velens. And using Scenario Ward, Well Charge, Feral Affinity due to the fact that you can go into Cat and Weave and do really big damage to the ads and just force the phases quickly. And Bash just so I can stun the opponent. Um, tree just in case. Uh, stuff gets messy, you can just pop tree and make sure everyone survives. Germination just so I can double rejuve all the party. And stone mark just so I can place it on someone if things get a bit hairy. And that's it. So, first off what I'm going to do before the fight starts, I'm just going to double rejuve everyone. The one thing you want to make sure is that Gerald has always got double rejuve. He's going to be taking the most damage, especially because he's going to get your mana stings. So first off, I'm just going to start with Moonfire in the main target. Which is going to be this Risen, and then go into cat form, and then just start DPS him. The more you DPS, the quicker you can go on to the next set of ads. So mana sting now, make sure it hits Gerald all the time. And just get ready to go into the next phase. And just double hot everyone up. And I'm just going to quickly stun this guy. Reapply hots to everyone, give Gerald HP. Now I'm just going to kill off this mage, just so it doesn't get his casts off. Heal up Gerald. And just while i got some downtime, heal everyone up. Give Gerald some heals. And get ready to go into the next phase with everyone full HP. Now I can just go back into cat form and just push on to the next phase. Mana Sting, just going to use Solar Wrath because it costs no mana, and it's just free. Just double rejuve everyone, and get ready to go into the next phase. I'm just going to use my Trank here as well, just so that everyone is surviving. Frenzied Assault, I'm just going to pop Bark in here and just focus the mage. I know I can survive this with Bark Skin up, so I'm just going to focus. And he's dead. Now I'm just going to double rejuve everyone. Make sure everyone's double rejuved. Knife Dance. Nothing I can do about this. Just make sure everyone's double rejuved. And especially because my eye level 965, I shouldn't have a problem with healing through that. And now I can just damage him. Just going to make sure everyone's double rejuved before we go into the next phase. So next phase, I'm just going to focus the mage, knife dance, I'm going to use Velens here and make sure everyone survives, and I'm also going to use my stun here, frenzied assault on me, I'm just going to use bark skin on myself and make sure this mage dies, just make sure this mage dies and now into the next phase, I'm just going to double hot everyone up so I know they'll survive. Make sure they survive. Cast a wild growth now just so that everyone is hired up. And just, yeah, run away from them if you need to. You can just double dot them up. Make sure everyone's hotted. And we'll just kill the next one now just so there isn't two knife dancers. And now we'll go into the next phase, which is the last two ads. So I'm going to make sure that the um, caster never gets. One off. I'm just going to double rejuve everyone. I can sit on this, so I'm just going to, you know, double rejuve everyone. And I'm going to life bloom Granny, because I know she'll take a lot of damage. And get ready to go to the next phase. The next phase now. Just dot everyone up. And I'll use Tree and Trank now. Or just Tree and Velens. And just make sure that these ads die. Just going to use Innovate on myself, make sure everyone survives. I'm going to go into cat form and just make sure that the um, the mage dies. And now I'm just going to make sure that everyone survives. Double rejuve everyone. Focus heal Granny as well. I'm just going to give Bark Skin to Granny just so I know that she'll survive. Friendly's Assault, it's fine. I'm just going to pop Bark Skin on myself. Make sure it hits Gerald. Going to use Essence of Ganeer here as well just so I know that everyone's staying alive. 
and then just kill off these last few ads. And just kill the next ad. And just make sure everyone's hotted up, make sure they don't die. And into the next phase. So it's going to hit Gerald. And now onto the next phase. So this is where they'll stay still, and I'll be going in solo now. So now there'll be eyes coming all around me, and I've just got to kill them. So we're going to get stunned. So I believe, from what I can remember, from when I did it on my shaman, every time you kill one of these, it deals damage to you. So you're just going to kill them slowly. So as you can see, they deal really big damage. Just make sure I'm healed. Just make sure I'm full. Before they pop. Just gonna bark skin myself, just so I know I'll survive. And I'll die. There we go. Now onto the next phase. Just wanna make sure these orbs are always dying. And just kill these ads. Make sure these ads are dying, hot myself up. Kill this dominator. Make sure I'm hotted. Kill these orbs. Just gonna heal up all these guys. Make sure they're all hotted and they're getting healed up. Gonna just trank them up. And focus down this archer. Okay, mana sting, so I'm gonna make sure it hits all that target. And I'm gonna open up the gate. I'm gonna kill the orbs and rush through them. So I'm just going to pop sprint and run through them. And activate the gate. And go on to the next one. So I know that the Fricker and I is going to deal damage to me. So I'm just going to kill them last. And I'm just going to focus the Corruptor. Focus the Corruptor. Just kill them one by one. Double reduce myself. Kill the cat, kill the eye. Oh, so that's a risen soldier. I'm just gonna quickly kill that. Going to cat form. And just quickly, I think that was the guy I didn't heal up to full. And he became a soldier. Just quickly kill these. Make sure I don't die. Stun him. So now I'm just going to wait here for a second until my cooldowns come back, so I'll join you after my cooldowns are back. My CDs are back up, so I'm going to go in now. The main thing to watch out for here, I'm going to get two waves of ads. The first wave, I've got a heal, which I'm going to use drums for, and tree. And then the second wave, which I'm going to use drank for. I'm actually going to drum, I'm going to save it to the last phase, so I can DPS down the boss really quickly. I'm just going to make sure all my targets are double rejuved. Make sure everyone's double rejuved. Make sure everyone's double rejuved. I'm also just going to give life bloom to Granny just so I know that she'll survive. I'm going to also place them in my ethereals. Okay, so going into the next phase now. So I'm gonna pop tree pot here. Make sure they're all double hotted. 
And now once they're coming in, I'm going to pop tree now. And Essence of Ganyr. And just heal them all up. And just double pot everyone. Where is my Ephra Essence? There it is. Place it down, just so that they're inside and they're getting healed. Now for the next set. Just focus heal them up. Just try and make sure they survive. And double hot them up. As soon as he comes out, I'm going to um, pop Bloodlust and focus him down. So I'm going to double hot up all these. So now I'm going into the next phase. So I'm going to quickly put down Ephrescence. Okay, I'm going to pop Bloodlust, go into cat form. And I'm just literally not going to heal them. And I'm just going to focus DPS. I'm going to let this pop so it deals damage to everyone. Focus heal Jared. Then go back into Catfall. So ignite soul on me. So the HP I have is going to be inflicted on everyone else. So I'll heal everyone up. Heal myself up as well. Make sure Jared doesn't die. Ignite soul on me. So I'm going to make sure my health's low. And there's all this high. Ignite Soul's gonna pop soon. Gonna make sure Jared doesn't die. Make sure I don't die. Ignite Soul on me. Gonna let it pop. Gonna heal up everyone. Okay, and now we just focus the boss, and that is it. The Mage Tower done. One shot. And there we go. That's it.